guys, it's Carly bringing you day number 27 of my 31 Days of Horror. And for this review, I was going to originally do a movie on Netflix, but um, the movie was like two hours, and I kind of wasn't paying much attention at the beginning of it. And since it's late at night, I didn't feel like really restarting it and rewatching it because it seemed like it was a decent film, but um, I just, you know, it wasn't the right time for me to be watching it. I just could not get into it or pay attention to it, so I'm probably going to end up re-watching that one and reviewing it for a later video. So, plan B is to review a movie that I have already seen this year, and that is The Scare House. Um, this is a film that I received in the horror pack. Uh, forget, it's a 2000, okay, it's a 2015 movie, just saw it on the back, but yeah, um, got in the horror pack. It's signed by one of the actresses in the movie, Sarah Booth, as well as, I believe, um, uh, might be two actresses or the director or something like that, but there's two signatures on here, and that's pretty cool. Um, basically, this movie is about two college girls. They were called, they were former, uh, sorority girls, part of the sorority house, uh, they design a haunted house, fun house, for six of their previous college peers, um, other sisters of the sorority house, to attend, and then it turns out that the house is actually a way for them to seek their revenge on these girls for an incident that occurred two years prior that basically ruined these two girls' like life, kind of, because they went to jail for those two years and obviously got kicked out of school and gave them a bad reputation and all that. So it is a revenge type film. Um, based on like the cover and just the name, I was kind of thinking this movie would be kind of like, I don't know, bad quality, generic type stuff. Like the cover is just obviously like three girls, like Photoshop in front of like a background and it kind of just looks really cheap and things like that, so I didn't really expect too much from this going into it. I knew nothing about it, really. It was just kind of like an independent movie that was put in the horror pack. Um, like I said, didn't really know much about it, didn't look up too much on it or anything like that, just kind of read the back of it and went with it, and I was extremely, extremely happy with what I saw in this film. Um, it is a very great film. It is well acted. Uh, the story is pretty great. Like, I mean, it's a story that, of course, has been done before, a revenge-type story based on, like, something that messed up people's lives and whatever, and also, like, sorority house-type massacre-type stories. Like, those have been done before, but I just think it's a pretty solid, simple story. Basically, you know, these girls... They make this haunted house, and I believe, like, one side, they have regular people going in, and then there's another side where these six girls are going in, and obviously that is different from the regular side, which just looks like a regular haunted house. Um, I thought the characters were all good in this. Uh, the scenes, like, the revenge-type tortury scenes were actually pretty brutal, like, hard to watch some of them. So, I was really surprised by that. Like I said, I didn't really know what all was going to be going on in this film. And the two main actresses do a believable job of being just, like, two pissed-off girls who are angry about what kind of happened to them because, basically, they kind of just got the rough end of the stick and the other girls kind of throw them under the bus, and that is why they are so angry. Uh, the prank was pretty decent. The reason that they ended up in jail, um, it's a reasonable way for them to end up in trouble. Um, I think the movie is pretty realistic in those aspects. And the ending is, um, like, I kind of saw what happened coming, but at the same time, it was still a pretty solid ending. Like, what happens, you're, I mean, you're not, you know, you're not supposed to be expecting it, but I kind of expected it leading up to it in the last couple moments, what was going to happen, but I was pretty happy with the ending overall. Um, like I said, this is a great, great film, and I do recommend people checking this out if they can get their hands on it. That's the one thing I like about the horror pack is that I find movies that I would have never in a million years decide to pick up on my own necessarily. Uh, this just isn't something that I probably would think 
it wouldn't really catch my eyes probably if I was shopping for movies, but I'm really glad that I got it in my possession and got the chance to watch it and be pleasantly surprised. So that is pretty cool. For this movie, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. Check it out if you have not. Uh, yes. Thank you guys once again for joining me for day number 27 of my 31 days of horror, and I will see you in day 28.